Hey there, everyone. Pastor Tim here from the Church at West Shore. Welcome to our daily devotion and prayer time. This is the Thursday edition, and we are wrapping up Exodus chapter 12, a very important chapter in the book of Exodus, but also just in the history of the children of Israel, of the Jewish nation. Uh, we have gone through all the plagues. We've got to the final plague. The angel of death um, has passed over those who had the blood on the doorpost and the door frame. And we come to what God tells us in verse 43. And these are the actual instructions for the celebration of Passover. You see, it wasn't just the uh, event of the Passover that was important. That was vitally important. It led to the children of Israel being led out of Egypt, but then it instituted a centuries long, till this day even, celebration that the children of Israel are to remember each and every year. And there's great significance for us as followers of Christ as well in the Passover, as we'll talk about um, in the days and weeks to come. But God tells us, picking up in verse 43, then the Lord said to Moses and Aaron, these are the instructions for the festival of Passover. No outsiders are allowed to eat the Passover meal, but any slave who has been purchased may eat it if he has been circumcised. Temporary residents and hired servants may not eat it. Each Passover lamb must be eaten in one house. Do not carry any of its meat outside and do not break any of its bones. The whole community of Israel must celebrate this Passover festival. If there are foreigners living among you who want to celebrate the Lord's Passover, let all their males be circumcised. Only then may they celebrate the Passover with you like any native born Israelite but no uncircumcised male may ever eat the Passover meal. This instruction applies to everyone, whether a native born Israelite or a foreign, foreigner living among you. So all the people of Israel followed the Lord's commands to Moses and Aaron. On that very day, the Lord brought the people of Israel out of the land of Egypt like an army. So these are the instructions of how they are to eat the Passover meal. And they are to, to do this yearly at Passover time. And as we read through this passage, there are um, inferences to the coming of Jesus and the fact that he is the one true Messiah, the one Passover lamb. Um, the lamb for Passover was not to have any of its bones broken. We know that when Jesus was on the cross, none of his bones were broken. This was common for those who were crucified, for the, the bones in their legs to be broken so that they could no longer push up and get air into their lungs, causing their death to, to come quicker. And, and so we see um, a, a foreshadowing of the Messiah. But this is the celebration the most important celebration to the Jewish people because of God sparing them in Egypt and not just sparing them, but delivering them from the hands of the Egyptians. Now, why is this important to us? Because Jesus, the Passover lamb, the true Passover lamb, did the exact same thing. No, we're not held captive by a nation, but we are held captive by sin. Sin has constrained us and it has separated us from God. But the blood of the lamb, it wasn't placed on the doorpost or the door frame. It was placed on the cross and it was placed on us so that the angel of death, the angel that separates us from God would pass over us. And so we don't just celebrate this one time a year. We celebrate this every day. The angel of death has passed over us and we have been brought to new life in Jesus Christ. He's our savior. He's our redeemer. Let's pray to him right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come to you and we thank you for what Jesus did for us. We thank you that he is our Passover lamb 
that he died once for all and that uh, our sins have been taken upon him and his blood has been applied to us so that we would no longer be separated from you. To that we say thank you. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, have a terrific Thursday. And until next time, and as always, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and give you peace. And may you fall just a little bit deeper in love with Jesus today. Take care. May God bless you.